Finance Minister Matia Kasaja's fresh pledge into finding an antidote to government spending appetite. This amidst the country's budgeting date. I have many burdens, security, water, roads, education, health, and many other things. Now there is a game, game is now. <laughs> Football, I have to develop a stadium in Akibua, in Lango. Then I have, I think, I've been told I have to do another one in Hoima, where I happen to, be, to come from. Now, this money, I don't want to borrow too much. I borrow, but I don't want to see. I have seen countries, this is through experience, people who have overbrought, they get very serious problems. So I, uh, I told you somewhere, I don't know whether it was quoted right there. I don't want to mortgage Uganda. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That one where I shall not do, as long as I'm the Minister of Finance, let others do it, but not the change. The minister was speaking at an opening of a local microfinance branch in Kampala. He also reminded financial institutions of government's stand on boosting domestic revenue. That also, did I have I said that I want taxes from you? <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I, want to, I want taxes from you, but the legitimate taxes. According to the law, if you have made money, you should be able to, to give the treasury money. Types of capital that the business needs is another challenge. So I believe that literacy, literacy of the business is what is affecting many people in business. We many times start businesses. First of all, the first thing is to feed my family. We are hungry, we need something to do. You heard the minister, there are many graduates but few jobs. So many people start businesses to survive. But after you survive, then what next? That's the part that we do not know what to do. So that's one thing that I believe many businesses in my sector and in the larger fraternity are suffering. He also blamed the slowing economy in part on disruptions caused by the pandemic, saying the country is on track to recovery, now growing at 6%. Malcolm Simeth. NTV Business.